Hey y'all, it's Madeline from the UX team at Rocksaw Studios and for today's Figma Fridays I'm going to show you how you can create a text field in Figma prototyping. So I'll show you what I mean here. I've got this search bar that I've created and I'm going to type on my keyboard L O S and then I'm going to hover over my selection and click it and then it opens up a page and I'll show you how I did that. So first I'll tell you all the elements that I made that are part of this prototype. So I just have a search bar here. Um, and then I have these three frames that show the three different stages of the results that I want to appear. Um, that have a search drop down as well as this little element up here that covers up the initial text that's in the search bar. Um, it's kind of a hack that we have to do to make this work properly. Um, but essentially you could just create um, a frame and then put some rectangles in it and then line it up to where you would like it to appear uh, when this overlay is open. So this is going to open as an overlay um, and it's going to kind of cover up what's already in this bar and then show this drop down. And you'll create three of those. Um, one with an L, or whatever is the first letter of your word, and then one with the second letter of your word, and then one with the third letter of your word. Um, and reducing each search result by one each time. So once I have those, I'm going to go into prototyping mode over here on the right, which I'm already in right now, and I'll select my search bar, and I'll grab the node from this frame and drag it over to my results one frame. And what I want to happen is um, when I type on the keyboard a certain letter, in this case uppercase L, that it goes to this um, next frame or it opens this overlay. So I'm gonna go up where it says on click and I'm going to select key slash gamepad. And then I will select where it says navigate to and change it to open overlay. So now, um, and it, this may default to centered, but you're gonna make it say manual um, and make sure the, an the animation says instant. So what I see here is that it has just placed my uh, results one frame just kind of randomly on, on the canvas there. Um, and what I wanna do is drag it to where I would like it to be which is essentially just uh, right on top of where the L will cover what the original text in the search bar says and where the drop down kind of sits right beneath that search bar. I forgot to add what the letter is. So now what I need to do is um, add in the letter that I would like the user to type. Um, in this case, I want it to be uppercase L. Um, by hitting the shift key, it added this little arrow pointing up. I can also make it so that uh, lowercase l is the key that I want them to type. But in this case, I want it to be uppercase l. So I'm going to hit shift l. And now when I go into my prototype and type capital L, I get my first screen. When I type O, nothing happens because I haven't set that up yet. So I am just going to set that up now. Grab the node. I'm going to go up to on click, hit key gamepad. When they hit lowercase o, it will swap with results two. So my results one screen, I'm going to swap with my results two screen. And this will make it so that the overlay swaps rather than opening a new overlay. And then another thing that I'm gonna set up is that when I drag my node from results two back to results one, I can make it so that key gamepad backspace that I swap back with results one. And that way, when I type, I can hit backspace and go back to the first results page. And I'm also gonna do that with my results one page. I'm gonna grab this node and drag it back to the search bar and go to key game bat, game, game pad. And if you missed it last time, what I did to make it say backspace is literally just to hit the delete key and it recognizes that it's a backspace. 
and I will change that to close overlay since um, this is the original overlay that results to is swapping with. And when I test that out, it should work. L O backspace backspace. Perfect. And I'm just going to do that whole deal again with the third page. Grab this node, key gamepad, make that an S, swap with, results three, instant, and now that should work perfectly. L O S, perfect, but no backspace yet, so I'll add that in really fast. Drag the node back to results two key gamepad, hit my delete key to make it say backspace, swap with, results two, perfect. And now we should be all set, L-O-S, back, 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 perfect. Now what we need to do is to make this hover effect appear when I hover over Los Angeles. And to do that, I am just going to, um, you'll see that I have extended my frame so that it's really long, and that's because I want the user to be able to hover over pretty much any part of this row and have um, this hover effect appear. So you can do that pretty easily by just dragging the size of your, of your text frame to whatever size you need it to be. So back into prototype mode, um, I am going to drag this node down to my hover frame and I am going to make it so that while hovering I will open a new overlay so we're stacking overlays now I'm going to open this overlay and I'm going to make it manual and uh, just to edit that I can click on this and I'm going to place it to where it's kind of exactly on top um, and if you hover, it goes fully opaque. If you remove your arrow, you can see through it. So I'm going to put that exact, I'm just using my arrows on my keyboard to line it up perfectly. And that is pretty much exactly where I want it. So now let's test this out. L O S and a nice hover effect. And now what I want it to do is when I click, on Los Angeles, it opens up my Los Angeles page. And to do that, it's pretty simple. Just gonna go to the hover, not um, the results page, but the hover itself, since that's what's on top at this point in time. I'm gonna grab that node, drag it to my page, and now we should have a working, working search bar. LOS, hover, and click, voila. Um, so that is a really quick and easy way to um, set up a kind of a mimic of a search bar. Maybe if you are doing user testing and you want your user to do a certain flow where maybe they search for Los Angeles or they search for a certain type of product, um, you can set up your keyboard really as um, intricately as you want. You can do a much longer word or you can set up multiple different terms that they might be able to search. It can get pretty in depth if you want to uh, have a whole bunch of screens. That is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.